Today, the overdue Massachusetts budget was finally passed into law. 22 News State House reporter Olivia Ray was at the signing ceremony and has the details on Governor Healy's budget vetoes and the latest investments. Governor Healy signed the Massachusetts fiscal year 2025 budget into law on Monday and vetoed over $300 million in spending and several policy items. This $58 billion budget featuring funding for free community college and public transportation, investments in child care grants, and the legalization of the online lottery, among other provisions. The governor's vetoes looking to eliminate some funding items, which the governor says is out of caution. In her remarks, Healy emphasizing Massachusetts economic strength and the need to stay in that position. Our economy is strong. Our bond rating is excellent. We've got money in our rainy day fund, but it's also our responsibility to make sure that we're being fiscally responsible in a time where there's still some uncertainty. The governor also vetoed several policy items, which her office says are vetoes with amendments, meaning they are seeking to change the language of certain policies. Secretary of Administration Finance Matthew Gorkowitz said these amendments deal with new mass health policies, and the Healy Driscoll administration does not expect pushback. We think these are friendly amendments and um, have reached out and worked with our uh, colleagues in the legislature to hopefully um, secure that. Vetoes are a typical part of the budget process and may be overridden by votes from the state legislature. Massachusetts lawmakers have until Wednesday, the final day of the legislative session, to override any of Governor Healy's vetoes. Working for you from the State House in Boston, I'm Olivia Ray, 22 News.